Hey guys, this is Germ. This is the continuing series of college pro tips. Tips from someone who did fairly well in college, trying to help out those of you going into your freshman or maybe sophomore years who just need a little help, need a little guidance, need a little advice from a gamer like you. Now, uh, today I want to talk about getting a fast internet connection because most of you listening to this are not back at college yet. You might be going there uh, this week, maybe next week, maybe two weeks from now. So we're not really going to talk about professors or classes or anything right now. What I want to talk about is the fact that if you're watching this, you are most likely a gamer. And if you're a gamer, you're most likely planning on playing games while you're at college. And to do that, you will need pretty decent internet. Now, fortunately, most colleges have pretty decent internet available to the students. Um, most colleges will have like a T1 cable line or something like that. Uh, my college actually had fiber optic for all the dorms, which was really great. But you're sharing it with a lot of other people. And for gaming, you know, download speed is important, upload speed is important. You need decent speeds, but you also need good ping. Uh, you need good reliability because no one likes to be cut off in the middle of a tight match. Uh, and a lot of other things. So, what I would recommend is going wired. Now, most of you probably know this. That's not rocket science. I'm not like some brave, wise genie telling you that you need to have a wired connection to have good internet. Duh, you probably know that. Uh, wireless is going to, you know, it, it can be good when no one else is on it. Um, I actually use wireless myself for everything I do. Uh, just because of where I live, it makes more sense to have a wireless router at the moment. But I'm using an amazingly awesome wireless router and a really awesome uh, antenna on my computer end. So you will probably not have that advantage. Most colleges are not going to be putting the very, very best of that type of equipment in the dorms because most people don't really need it. Most people can get by, you know, for Facebook, YouTube, Netflix, school work if they ever do any, you can get by with a much simpler router. And that probably won't be awesome wireless in your dorms, especially when other people are using it. So you'll want to go wired. Wired is great. Uh, you know, you probably need to get uh, some extra long Ethernet cables from Newegg or Amazon. You can get them pretty cheap. Don't go to Walmart or Best Buy. They're going to probably cost way too much money there. Um, but you shouldn't have to pay more than like five or six bucks for a 10 foot cable online. I'd recommend getting a long Ethernet cable, but you need to make sure there's going to be an Ethernet jack available in your room. Some colleges don't provide Ethernet jacks in the room, and some colleges provide Ethernet jacks but they're not turned on unless you request them. That was the case at my college. The, first, the last year I was there, Ethernet jacks were not turned on by default. They were available in the room, but you had to put in a request to have them turned on uh, because of, I don't know, just changing IT policies and stuff. They wanted everyone to be using wireless. So you'll need to put in a work order. And if you've never been to college before, the thing you need to know about work orders are it could take a really long time for them to fulfill the request. I knew quite a few people who ended up waiting a couple weeks to get their Ethernet jacks turned on, uh, which is kind of ridiculous, but it's understandable when you think you've got like 5,000 students, maybe if you're at a bigger university, even more, 10,000, 15,000 students moving in, and you've got an IT department trying to, you know, customize everything for everybody and get everything up and running smoothly. So it's understandable, it's reasonable, not a big deal, we'll work around it. So what you need to do is find out right now, call the IT department at your school if you can locate the desk number uh, online, or, uh, you know, whatever you need to do, just call, find out, look online, do whatever research you need to do, find out if there are Ethernet jacks available, and find out what you need to do to uh, turn them on. Now, if Ethernet isn't an option and you're going to have to use Wi-Fi, uh, I've got bad news and good news. Bad news is you're going to kind of be stuck during Friday evenings, Saturday evenings, uh, a lot of early evenings when a lot of people are online. Saturday mornings, Sunday mornings, um, you know, a lot of those times, the traffic probably won't be that bad so a lot of people will be asleep or out with friends or whatever. And if you happen to be back at the dorm looking to do some gaming, it probably won't be that slow. But I'd recommend getting a high gain adapter. I'm actually, I'm using a TP-Link uh, USB high gain adapter. It costs like 20 bucks on Amazon. It's really not expensive at all. But it's taken my Wi-Fi signal, even though I use a good router, uh, my Wi-Fi signal was maybe two bars, two, three bars, decent speeds. I was getting like five megs down, uh, about maybe a meg up. I put this adapter on, I'm getting 22 down and about 10 up. Uh, and that's, I'm over 100 feet away from the router through a couple walls. So again, I have a good router, but a good adapter will also make a big difference if you're forced to, uh, to use it. Now, if you come from a home that has really, really fast internet, you might be used to like leaving your torrents running or streaming video while you're gaming or something like that, streaming music. 
I would recommend turning all that off in college. If you're going to be downloading anything, if you're going to be streaming anything, make sure before you start gaming that you stop all of it. Pause it, exit out of it, whatever you need to do, because you're going to be fighting for every last scrap of bandwidth, and you really don't want to have to be sharing that connection with torrents and streams and Pandora and other things you forgot to pause. So go ahead and turn it off and take care of that. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, need any advice on tech stuff for college, anything related to that, uh, send me a message, leave a comment on the video, I'll do my best to answer it. I like helping you guys out, and have a great day.